Out of the Iran nuclear deal, the Republican-led House held a strictly symbolic vote on Friday, spending hours in heated debate before rejecting the proposed treaty. It was too little, too late, following Senate action. Juliana Goldman is in our Washington bureau with more on that. Juliana, good morning. Good morning. Yep, that's right. That Senate vote earlier in the week means the president won't even have to be put in the position of vetoing a bill disapproving of the deal, and the administration can implement this historic accord without Congress interfering. But fights are sure to continue. Our fight to stop this bad deal, frankly, is just beginning. House Speaker John Boehner denounced the Iran deal Friday and said Republicans are exploring a range of options to stop the agreement. This deal is far worse than anything I could have imagined. Why? Because the president and his negotiators broke every one of their promises. But without the votes to stop the administration from implementing the deal, the threats in Congress are somewhat toothless. The emotion is not agreed to. The White House and Democrats hailed the Senate vote as a victory for diplomacy. I've always had confidence in that that we would sustain the president's veto if that, was the vo if that would be the vote. The focus now like turns to the nitty-gritty of the deal actually going into effect. Now. And while Obama crossed a hurdle with Congress, Iran's parliament must still vote to approve the accord. The country's supreme leader recently made a threat over Twitter, saying if sanctions are not removed, then there will be no deal. White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest said they're focused on Iran's actions and not right. implied afternoon, threats. There's no denying that there are many, many, many uh, important steps uh, ahead. Uh, surely um, ensuring that uh, Iran, both politically and technically, uh, begins to move forward with implementing the agreement. Before any sanctions are lifted, Iran will have to adhere to several agreed-upon actions, including destroying its plutonium reactor, dismantling its centrifuges, and shipping out 98 percent of its enriched uranium, all materials used to make a bomb. It will take several months for Iran to implement all the necessary steps. Now, President Obama is also looking to try and smooth over tensions with Israel that only became more inflamed over the last several months, with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu furiously lobbying against the deal. Benita, the White House said Friday Obama will host Netanyahu for a meeting in early November. Juliana Goldman in Washington this morning. Thank you.